Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here, back again today doing another video. Uh, before we get going into the main subject matter, let's just peep the shirt of the day. It's the Chris Paul Valley Phoenix Sun shirt. So that's the shirt of the day. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my Western Conference standings predictions for the 2022 NBA season. I'm going to go in ascending order, so from 15th to 1st. Uh, it's just going to be for the Western Conference, Eastern Conference to come later on. Um, I'm not going to be doing playoff predictions or award predictions. The only predictions I'm doing is strictly the standings. Uh, I'm not really going to do the records. I'm just going to do what place I think each team will finish in. And without further ado, I guess let's get into it. I'll probably give brief descriptions for each team. I may give less or more for certain teams. So um, don't expect too robust of an explanation for anybody. But if I'm too brief on somebody as well, um, then that's just because I don't have much to say on them. Also, uh, leave your, uh, your predictions in the comments or tell me where I'm wrong and you can yell at me for why I'm wrong or tell me why I'm right. Whatever you want to do, go for it. Um, so in 15th place, I think the worst team in the West this year will be the Thunder. Uh, they seem to want to be the worst. They seem to want to tank for a high draft pick. Basically, to me, you've got Lou Dort, who on any good team would be like a seventh man. And you've got Shea, who seems like a potential all-star. And besides that, there's not much to like. You've got Mike Muscala and Derek Favors, who are probably on good teams, like the eighth and ninth guy. So there's just not much there. So I have them at 15th. Uh, 14th is a team I actually like a lot, but they're just super raw and inexperienced, and that's the Houston Rockets. Um, I really like the sort of young core that they had already of uh, KPJ, Kenyon Martin Jr. Um, also, they've got Jay Sean Tate, and then I like that they added uh, Jalen Green. He'll be really solid. I like um, Christian Wood. I think this has the bones of a really good team, actually. Just they're really inexperienced at this point and really young. So once they get more experience, I think they'll be pretty good. Uh, 13, I have the Spurs, who I think will... They just are not that good. They basically traded straight up DeMar DeRozan for Thad Young, who is a good player, but again, like a good seventh man, not a good third best player on your team. I'm not a big DeJounte Murray believer. Um, Derek White is like the definition of an average NBA player. Uh, I like Lonnie Walker and Keldon Johnson, but again, I like them as like sixth men or seventh men on a really good team, and they're going to be looked to as like the third and fourth scoring option. Uh, potentially so yeah I just I don't think that they'll be bad I just think that there are so many good teams in the west that they'll sort of naturally float lower in the standings um, 12th I have the Kings who I think have the bones of a really good team I really like um, I've always really liked the core of uh, Fox and Heald and Barnes and I just think that the supporting players besides that of uh, Hal Burton and Bagley and uh, Holmes are pretty decent. I think Davion Mitchell and Tristan Thompson will be solid additions, so I like that team. Um, but I don't think that they'll be a playoff team. 11, I have Memphis. Um, not a, People are going to be shocked, but their roster got just basically on paper a lot worse this year. Um, Valanchunas was a lot better than Adams, so I think that's a definite downgrade. And they just didn't really do anything to improve themselves, and basically the only move they made made them worse. Uh, 10, I have the Pelicans. I think that they will be marginally better uh, basically because of the Valanchunas trade. I think getting him really helps them. And so that's pretty much that. Uh, okay, number 9, I have the Timberwolves. Um, I think that if everyone's healthy, I've been really bullish on them in previous videos, but Cat, D'Lo, uh, or Cat, D'Lo, Edwards, and Beasley, if they're all healthy, I think they can be like a 42-win team. Clippers is the eighth seed. They're going to be a playoff team, but no Kawhi, so that's why they're the eighth seed. Um, seven seed Trailblazers still have their typical like decent to good Trailblazer season, but there's just a lot of talent in the West, and because of that, I don't think that they'll be all that awesome. But I guess that's just my my opinion. Um, six, I have the Warriors. I think they'll actually really struggle having Clay out for half of the season. Uh, he's supposed to come back sometime around Christmas, and so I think that that'll hurt them in the beginning of the year a lot more than people expect. Uh, so that's why I have them six. 
Five, I have Denver. Sort of same reason as Golden State. I would actually have them quite a bit higher, but no Jamal Murray for basically the whole year. So I have them dropping because of that. Um, four, I have Dallas, who I think with a healthy Porzingis will be pretty solid. And I think Luka will just continue to improve. I like that they got shooting with um, Reggie Bullock. And I really like the idea of a, a late game lineup of Luka, Bullock, um, Hardaway, uh, Finney Smith and Porzingis. That's just like a greatly spaced lineup, and I really like that concept. Uh, three, I have uh, Utah, who I think will again be really good, just a little bit of a drop-off. They won't hit as many threes. Two, I have the Lakers, who I think will be really good, obviously. Uh, I think it'll take them a little bit of time to adjust, and I think because LeBron will rest a little bit more during the regular season, they'll be lower than the one seed. And then at the one seed, I have Phoenix, who I think is coming back healthy. Uh, Aiton and Booker are going to be better than they were last year. They'll have even more um, confidence and team chemistry from the finals run. And I think Chris Paul won't drop off. So I think uh, this team will be really solid. So again, that's my Western Conference standings predictions. To really quickly run through it, it's um, going from 15 to 1. Uh, as the worst team, you've got Thunder, Rockets, Spurs, Kings, Memphis, uh, New Orleans, Minnesota, Clippers, um, Portland, Golden State, Denver, Dallas, uh, Utah, Lakers, and uh, Phoenix. So leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time.